All right, guys, about the quality in room 217. This is the, there's like dogs and they're swimming outside. So my place faces the swimming pool. And now you can actually swim. In case you guys are watching this video after the COVID, I have not found one hotel motel in California where you can swim. And I think we get a breakfast buffet, so that's really a plus. I've never seen that before during COVID. But um, I got two beds because just for me, but this is all they had. Um, and a TV, a little smaller than um, most hotel rooms. Place for your clothes. Here is a desk. Right here we have a refrigerator. We have a coffee maker. I like a bucket with ice. Microwave right here. We have a closet. So you can hang your clothes if you want. Um, sink. And then we have a toilet and um, you turn on the lights. Bathtub, toilet. So yeah, this is the Comfort Inn in Santa Barbara, California. Um, I think it's a pretty basic hotel, but I feel like it's going to be quiet. Well, besides the dog. So hopefully the, the dog park or whatever the dogs goes away. But, so I think there's a breakfast buffet tomorrow morning. I'm going to let you guys know how that is. I've been very surprised because the last hotel I stayed at in Pismo Beach, they didn't offer any breakfast. No, Some people offer breakfast like in brown bags, but I think it's a breakfast buffet. I'm super excited. Yeah, this is my hotel room for just one night. Also, guys, I forgot to tell you how I ha searched for this hotel and why I chose this hotel. Um, Santa Barbara is very expensive for hotels. Pismo Beach is a little bit cheaper. Santa Barbara is very expensive. I don't know why. But this was... So I searched all the hotels on Expedia.com, and there's a map. You can see where, where they are. Now, I wanted a hotel either by the ocean, like the water, or on State Street. That's where, this, uh, that's where Santa Barbara downtown is. So I figured if I can't get one by the beach at Serena's Home Price, I could actually get one on State Street where and check out the, you know, the restaurants and stuff like that. So this hotel is very close to State Street and it is the cheapest hotel with the best reviews. Some of the reviews and some of the hotel rooms by the beach are on State Street that I thought were really nice and fancy. I always read the re Yelp reviews on Expedia and Yelp, both of them, to compare. And a lot of times, you know, they would say, oh, like, oh, there's ants, or there's bed bugs, or the air conditioning doesn't work. So I was like, you know, I want a really good hotel. So this was 172 a night, in case you were curious. I'll, I'll let you guys know about the breakfast tomorrow. guys here's my breakfast you saw a little um video of what they had basically it was just coffee oatmeal pastries not like hot food or anything but it was kind of cool at least they did this most hotels don't really do anything but i got some coffee i already had some it tastes really good actually um i got a bagel with cream cheese and i have a little bit of like a kind of pastry i'm not sure what kind of pastry that is um so yeah that's my breakfast so i would recommend this hotel guys i don't usually rate hotels but I would probably get four out of five just because the little dog park next to the hotel is kind of loud. It's actually pretty quiet in here, honestly. It was, a, you know, it was a pretty good hotel. It was a little expensive, but you know. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching.